So check this out. You can actually create more than one record at a time. So here I have a button to let you create two rows. And here is where the log will happen. And so I click on create two rows. Back in the hunt log. Boom. One, two. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. And then here's, as you see, it's the same email address for each. Right. And then uh, if I were to do that again, right, I'd have two more rows. One, two, one, two. And again, these could have like timestamps. Uh, let's see. So the title, details, timestamp. So you can see the timestamp is different for those two. Now, if you want to prevent them from doing that multiple times in a day or something, then you could do like an if then to say, hey, if there's a relation, if that relation lookup has the date equals today, then hide the button. But uh, this might be a nice little way to populate a sheet with some given characters where you have, um, you want to create, you know, a record for, or multiple records per person per day or something. And so I imagine like this could be like, hey, generate the template for today. Like get started for today. They click on it and then they have like four rows to fill out, which then you can use for an inline list or something like that. Um, how I'm doing this is in, uh, again, a compound action. And I'm basically just doing two add rows. Um, in order for it to recognize two different values, you had to create a single value column here. So this particular sheet only has two rows to it. So this is not dynamic, unfortunately. So here I have, uh, let's see if I can do it. So here I have two items and I want to generate these two items per button press, right? So because I know there are only two items, I did two, uh, two single value columns, one and two, where here I'm grabbing the single value of the first and this one I'm grabbing the single value of the second row, right? And then I'm populating these two information, these two items. Uh, as part of the form submission. So again, just so you see it, here's the add row to the log. So it's a different sheet altogether, right? With the timestamp and the email address and that single value column. And then I replicate this with uh, to a second column. And you can do this indefinitely to create X amount of rows per, per details. Um, you have to do the single value column, unfortunately, I believe, because when you're on a details screen, uh, it's only going to grab the current row. So you have to populate that row with all the other information that you'd like. So, uh, but that seems to work.